Mike Sempervivi not joining us here today, but Lance Storm. Upgrade Monday, I believe he wrote on his Twitter today, is joining us to replace Mike. What's going on, Lance? I see your, your buddy Callus is in quite the mood today. He's always in a mood. But yes, something to be thankful for for all Canadians on Thanksgiving Monday up here. That's right. It is Thanksgiving Monday. So happy Thanksgiving here, Lance. And how thankful we are for so much wrestling to talk about here today, including, I would say, the big story today, which is this coming Friday, we've got a battle, a head-to-head battle between WWE and AEW. Had a lot of people ask, what is going on? Well, quickly, SmackDown will be on FS1 in its normal time slot. Rampage will be in its normal time slot on TNT. Rampage will be live SmackDown will be live, and SmackDown is also going two and a half hours. So from 10 to 10.30, SmackDown on FS1 and Rampage on TNT are going to be going live head to head. And of course, WWE is determined to beat Rampage. Rampage is determined to beat WWE. And it's going to be interesting Because we don't have a Rampage number yet, but the show this week does not appear to have done very well. It likely is the least watched Rampage of all time. And WWE, is they're going to have a two-hour head start, a two-hour lead-in. You know they're probably going to have a Brock Lesnar segment and a Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks match from 10 to 10.30. And to me, the tipping point in this war is the fact that SmackDown will be doing no commercials (laughs) during that half hour. Now, AEW often goes quite a while in that opening segment without a commercial. Sometimes they go 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm not sure they're going to be able to go the full 30 minutes. Maybe they'll get the okay from TNT to go the full 30 minutes without commercials. But I don't know if people realize this or not, but this no commercial gimmick is a very, very successful gimmick in terms of boosting your numbers. Because there are a lot of people that turn the channel during the commercials. And the time that WWE has done commercial free, the times that uh, AEW goes an extended amount of time without commercials, the viewership is very, very high compared to that same amount of time with commercials. So if you look at what WWE did on FS1, the last couple of times they won on FS1, in viewership, they will almost certainly beat Rampage. In 1849, it could be very close, but with the no commercial gimmick, My gut is that SmackDown, during that half hour, is probably going to beat them. But anything is possible. It's not like I see one of them being miles ahead of the other. And we don't know what AEW is going to do in the first half hour of their show. So it will be a very interesting head-to-head. What are your thoughts on this, Lance? Well, the thing that I'm kind of hoping for, because I get a kick out of ridiculous arguing, is that unless one of the shows wins everything... Everyone, you know, fan base wise is going to declare winners. Like if the overall SmackDown show does better than the overall AEW show, then WWE is going to claim victory and their fans will as well. But what if AEW beats them in that half hour, but not overall for their show, then the AEW fans can claim victory. So unless one side wins everything, people are going to go absolutely insane when these numbers come out, all trying to downplay the victory of the other company and upplay the victory of their company when at the end of the day it's a half hour experiment you know the other thing is dave mentioned on the show this weekend and i started thinking about this more over the last couple of days dave's theory is that when aw put dynamite on wednesdays nxt went live on wednesdays on usa because the idea was we've got to stop this this show from gaining any any getting a foothold in the wrestling industry. And, of course, they were destroyed, and uh, NXT ended up m- being moved to Tuesday. So then when Rampage was announced for Friday at 10, Dave had concluded that maybe WWE is 
going to consider moving SmackDown to three hours, where the first two hours would be on Fox, and the last hour would be on FS1. And his theory was that because of what happened on Wednesday, WWE was not going to do this. He has also theorized that if SmackDown, that, that half hour, beats the first half hour of Rampage, they might consider doing that third hour head-to-head with Rampage. And the more I thought about this, the more I thought, obviously, that may happen. But this is this is not, I don't want to say a fair comparison, but if they win a half hour going head-to-head with Lesnar and Becky versus Sasha and no commercials... This is not a fair comparison as to what an hour of SmackDown would be doing on Friday nights on FS1 going head-to-head with Rampage. I'm not saying that if they did an hour on FS1 every Friday, they would not either sometimes, maybe regularly, I don't know, beat Rampage. But if I were WWE, I would not make a determination about whether I could beat Rampage on Friday based on what I'm going to do for a half hour without commercials with all of my biggest stars thrown in for a half hour this coming Friday. Well, no, but I think it is a good indication that if they narrowly win, they do not want to do this. If they absolutely destroy and wipe them out, then they could probably do this and win because obviously they don't want a portion of their SmackDown show losing to you know AEW's we'll call it uh, A minus show. So but again if they absolutely destroy it and their hour is up, their demo is up and again it does anywhere you know remotely close to what their smackdown usually does by holding some people to uh, tune into FS1. I again if it's a landslide then I think they could do it. If it's close then they probably shouldn't. And the other thing I would say, too, is that, uh, and before I hear this paid by AW, don't forget we do have archives. I said the same thing when NXT was going head-to-head with Dynamite that I'm going to say about AW Rampage if they go head-to-head with SmackDown every Friday. Let's say SmackDown adds an hour. At the end of the day, the fans are going to have their fun. They're going to go crazy on my timeline, et cetera, et cetera. But it doesn't matter. And I said the same thing when NXT was going head-to-head with Dynamite. NXT, what, what I thought that they should do, and also what I thought that Dynamite should do, is run your show. I know that fans like the idea of competition. Obviously, WWE loves the idea of competition because that's why they put NXT on USA head-to-head on Wednesday nights. But at the end of the day, it's your company, and it's about your television deal, And it is about your ability to get a new television deal, make money, create new fans, and sell tickets. If you fall into this, oh, we're in a war, we got to hot shot this, we got to do this big show here, we got to give this match away. We've seen, ultimately, it is always destructive to one side or the other. I don't know what the shows are going to do this Friday. If Tony Khan wants to load up the first half hour of Rampage, that's cool. But I don't think that he should give away something that he has planned for later on down the road. I don't think that he should attempt to hot shot. If WWE wants to hot shot that first hour, whatever. Everyone, every side can do whatever they want. But each side's primary goal is not to beat the other side. It is to do the best that they can for their business, for their fans, and for their future. And NXT be. doing everything that they did on Wednesday night, ultimately, that's what resulted in them ending up on Tuesday nights. So the show was way better before they got into that war. Yeah, and let's not you know disc- discount the potential damage to SmackDown from becoming a three-hour show. Like, we saw how drastically raw viewership dropped after going to three hours. And one of the big pluses that everybody likes about SmackDown is it's so much easier to watch because it's two hours. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.